Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another C++ example here. Uh, slash tutorial now, why not? Why not? But yeah, well today we're just going to go through uh, how you can point to array elements using pointers. So it's a really short, uh, short, 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 nice uh, example here. Uh, remember to just comment out all your other main functions. But uh, let's make a include string, and then we'll make a string pointer. So, uh, uh, sptr and we'll just make it null pointer for now and let's make a an array okay string array and it'll be it'll be static we don't need a vector for this we just want we have five different elements and we're just going to initialize them directly okay we're going to say um hi bra or let's uh, let's see here let's make colors here so red green, blue, violet, and what else we got? We got uh, yellow. I'm feeling that yellow. Yep. So there we go. Now we have a an array of stuff here. And our array size, why not just make an... All right, let's call it 5. And we'll make that 5. So, there we go. And we have a pointer here, which we can point to these elements with. And a pointer, remember, when you point things, or two things, um, you can change them. So we'll be able to change these things using the pointer. And remember that the actual array itself is a pointer, a string pointer to the first element. Okay? And then it's just that we have added some stuff to the end there. So uh, we could actually do this and make a new uh, string then we could do that because this is a pointer and pointers can always become arrays all right because they're always the pointer to the first we'll talk about this in the next example but for now let's just see that we can uh sorry about that let's see we can point stuff so what happens here so we have these five all right and they're ordered so let's point to all right just to prove that string array if you just point to the name here and not give in an index, you know, like 2 or something like that. We always point to the first element. So, dereference, otherwise we'll get the address. Okay. We could actually, you know what, we've always been doing this. So we can just keep doing it. Because I, it's good to show the difference between the address and the dereferencing. Alright, so we'll do that. And we will run this. And we get the address to it and red. Okay, and if I just printed out string array here, just the address of the first element, the pointer, okay, that would have given us the exact, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, let's divide that up, just like that. And then, what that gives us is the same exact address, okay, it's the same exact address. So, remember that, it's always pointing to the first element. So, what happens now? Well we can point to that. Now the problem is that if we try pointing beyond string array 5, so that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 1, 4. So if we try to point at 5, remember this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. If we try to point at 5, it's beyond this. Okay? Uh, whoopsie daisy. Just like that. If we try to point to beyond this, it's going to give us an error. It should. Yeah. It broke, exception thrown. So that meant that we're trying to access something that is not part of this. It's an undefined spot. It's really dangerous. Don't do that in your program. Always keep track of R size. So minus one. And remember, when you have a size like this, when you create it, you want five spaces. But then afterwards, you have five spaces, but it only goes up to four, zero, one, two, three, four. So you can't just use R size in here to access the last element. You have to uh, go minus one on that. Okay? So if we did that, then we'd be fine. We'd get yellow, which is the final last element there. So string pointer can point to stuff. So if we set, set that to the final one, and we say that uh, sptr equals uh, brown. Okay. And then we print it out. What's going to happen now? Well, it changed the actual... Uh, position here 
to Brown because we're pointing to it. We're we're actually connected to it. We're not just copying the values and stuff, but we're actually connected to it. So that's the thing with pointers. You can point to any one of these. And I want to show you one more thing. I want to say that what if we're pointing to string r? We can write zero here so you don't get confused. Just remember that you can you can just do this because that lets you do it. But if you do this, you're in here, you're in the string here. That's why it's complaining. It's saying, oh, but I can't become a string. Then you have to give it the address to that string. Okay, because this itself is a pointer, but when you do this, it's not a pointer. It's accessing the string inside, and then you have to get the address to it, and that will give you the first position. Okay, so let's do that, and here is something called pointer arithmetics. Okay, and then what happens here? What do you think is going to happen here? We're adding to the pointer. We're actually adding to the pointer here. What happens? Do you think this is going to somehow add something to red? Or do you think it's going to do something else? I talked about this in the earlier video, but in case you didn't watch it. Oh, why is it at green now? Hmm, why did it go up? Well, I'll explain it again. When you add things to pointers, you're not adding to the value the pointer is pointing at. You're adding to the next step. You're, you're going up in increments. Okay, you add it to one, you'll be at the next spot. You add it to two, you'll be in the blue. Oh, that rhymed actually. That was pretty cool. <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll be at the next uh, two after that, okay? So you'll keep going in positions. Remember, these are there's lots of memory locations in the memory like this, and our array might be within these five here, okay? And we're starting here. We're adding, 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 adding. And if you come here, you're gonna get some errors, all right? Because you're outside of bounds. You don't know what exists at this memory location. You have no idea. So you gotta be careful. So when you're using pointer arithmetics, just make sure you're always within the bounds. Okay, so just do that. So you might want to, for example, in before adding, you might want to say if, uh, if, uh, let's see. Well, in this case, it wouldn't work. If you had a pointer pointing to end, you could check as long as this is not equal to that, or is not trying to go past that, you'll be fine. Okay, so that's what ve vector does. It has iterators from begin and it has uh, iterator end. And you can check as long as it's not more than end, you're fine. You can just iterate through and minus and plus whatever you want uh, within these limits. Okay, so that's basically how you want to work with this. I think that's about it for pointers and arrays here. You can do the same thing with vectors, just so you know. You can, you can point to a vector, you can point to a vector uh, specific element that's because vectors are exactly what this is, just that they're dynamic. They can delete these and make a new bigger one and add more to them. So we'll start making those really soon. As soon as we get into classes, we'll start making those. Or even before, maybe. I don't know. As soon as I know that I've talked about everything uh, related to pointers and memory allocation. But thanks for watching. This was a, uh, probably a pretty important video. I uh, hope you learned something. and Take care. I'll see you in the next one.